Hello and good afternoon. Uh, we're back. Um, Hello. Thank you. Um, Hello. <laughs> well, joined by Martin and uh, many will many of you will know this uh, this, this chap that's joining us here, David. Yeah. David Touchy, I like to say, but it's Would wrong. See. Yeah, I know, but I prefer to say yeah. Touchy because it's. Yeah. Yeah. David, I did, my first question is: When are you going to grow a proper beard? A, a, a beard <laughs> no, that I'm, appears I'm, I'm, all I'm, over your face. No, I'm, like like this is very important because. I want to say six years ago, the Miko drew a profile picture of me, and and I've been using that for every board game related thing since then, and and I must look like that profile picture. Oh, so it, so it, this, it was, this thing is is permanent. So it's what we in the beard community call a contractual beard. Is that is that what we're saying? <laughs> no, it's it, the, the, there's actually a. a um, like the second, first component is how much can I look like my known board gaming pictures, and the second oh. component is what does the lady think. Yeah. Okay, I see. And, and and the lady has been agreeing with this recently, so I, I, I do I do notice that it came number two on that list. So <laughs> you're, you're deep in you're deep in if that comes in number two. So I'm I'm not going to comment on any of this. <laughs> Um, Good. This will be quite quickly. <laughs> but David's around all weekend doing lots of various things because he is so prolific these days, as we are in the year of Tootsie. Um. Yes, <laughs> and and working on turning it into the decade of Tootsie. So. <laughs> uh, but today uh, we're here talking about Mind Clash uh, games, who make some awesome, awesome games. Anachrony, one of my favourite games of all time. There's Anachrony. Oh, you've got them all there behind you. Look. Um, of course I do. <laughs> Petrical. Do you think I sit anywhere by accident? <laughs> <laughs> um, but we we were just talking before you. Uh, there's some new stuff coming. A brand new game coming uh, from Mind Clash. Yes. Uh, so I, I like to think that Mind Clash games are fancy and important enough that it's still worth counting them. So the good news is that yes, the fourth Mind Clash game is coming. Uh, it's, it's, it's like the Tarantino movies, right? You know which yeah, Tarantino yeah. movie is. So this is the fourth Mind Clash game. It's called Perseverance. And uh, I'll start with the theme and then I'll, I'll go into more why it's insane. So the theme is that a uh, luxury, uh, what you call it, uh, cruise ship gets uh, uh, lost in a Bermuda Triangle-esque situation. And they land, uh, run ashore on a mysterious island. And uh, they can't leave, so they're like, well, there's 2,000 of us, there's this ship full of... Uh, so because they were heading for a festival, so they have camps and everything. And so they build a small, you know, let's get ashore, let's try and survive here. And that all goes very well until the settlement is attacked by dinosaurs. <laughs> as it normally is, yes. As, as, as it normally... <laughs> yes, most... most um, uh, the, Luxury, most cruise ship tours end in dinosaur attacks yeah, yeah. these days. I, I read that all the time. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, so that's the theme. Uh, the main mechanism is dice drafting and dice placement, and that somehow fused into a game of uh, worker placement area majority hybrids driven by an adventure feeling. So it's like we were like, no compromises, let's tick every box. And then to, to, to drive the point home, it's not one game. Right. It's a series of games. Uh, we call them episodes. And episode one and two are launching on Kickstarter this July the 7th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And episode three and four will launch after we deliver this one. So you know that we're making something good before you give us more money. And uh, they're independent, individually tested and individually good, well, I'd like to think great games that... Uh, uh, are familiar yet different so when i said that it's a dice drafting uh, dice placement area majority board that's true for all of them but in in episode one you're protecting the city from the dinos attacking and building the wall to keep the dinos out and make the dinos pay for it whereas in episode two you're sending out scouts clearing out the jungle around the the the, the city and you're building outposts and watchtowers and you start actively capturing the dinosaurs and 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 trying to use them for something and then in episode three more things will go down that may or may not end up with the people riding dinosaurs into battle yeah 
Yeah. So this is this is almost like lost the ball game, isn't it? It's it's mystery yes. island. Yeah. Yes, it's mystery island. Just instead of a plane, it's a boat, and instead of t- twenty people, it's two thousand people, and instead of smoke monster, it's dinosaurs, <laughs> and that's a lot better in my book. Oh, uh, absolutely. And of course, it's we're gonna be one to four players because you know where I'm involved, solo modes don't left stay dry, uh, and uh, yeah. So the, the oh, and the important thing is that they're individual games, but they also form a campaign. And when we say campaign, we don't mean a legacy game. So there are no hidden rules. So we're not gonna go. Ha! Huh, you thought trade was a good action? Well, guess again. Yeah. <clears throat> Three, four. Sorry. <laughs> so. Um, so every rule will be known up front. Open rule books go crazy. You can play just episode two if you like that. You can play just episode one if you like that. But if you go by the campaign, then we'll gradually introduce those mechanisms. So here is episode one. Now you know it. Here is episode two. We don't toss everything at you yet. It builds up and there will be a carryover and there will be an independent final winner. But you don't have to play the campaign only if you want to. The campaign is replayable. There are, as I said, no surprises, no, oh, had I known that kind of situation. So basically everything we love about the legacy games and none of the things we don't love about the legacy games. So, I think that sounds fantastic. Uh, can I give you some money now? Uh, can I throw <laughs> some money at you now? You yes, might as well please. Just empty my pockets. Just, just stand it straight to my straight to my PayPal and don't expect <laughs> anything in return. <laughs> but um, I'm a I'm a big fanboy of the Mind Clash stuff. I think um, they do fabulous games. Absolutely. If I follow any publisher, it's Mind Clash. Yeah, yeah. And, Thank you very um, much. And 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 this as you know, fabulous. Yeah, and as you know, I work with many many publishers. But the thing with Mind Clash is always is the this Policy. no compromise perfection yeah. is that makes me want to come back for more and more and we can do we can do even crazier and and nobody could do it but we'll do it and yeah. it'll be better and and like like the first version of a game that involved uh, dice being placed drafted and then placed on the worker placement board and changing the color of the dice for area control which didn't yet have the dinosaur theme which didn't yet have adventures our the first game that fit this description was designed I want to say 2016 February uh, by um, the, the Thomas and Wolf, the designers of Yido and myself. And then we took it to Mind Clash. And, uh, and that was the year when Jorvik uh, Feast for Odin in the name of Odin and uh, Blood Rage came out. So we were like, yeah, how about we drop the Vikings? <laughs> uh, so, so uh, and, and thus we said, OK, no, no Vikings. What's the second coolest theme that nobody has done? And when Dinosaur Island came out, we were like, no, we're not changing the theme. This is completely different. There's no Jurassic Park theme music here. <laughs> we're good. Uh, so, so that's that's how. And then, and then, and then, as it's always true with Mind Clash, everything was built from the theme. So, so the original game was essentially broken down for components. And then, how should it work based on the theme? We yeah. started putting those components back together, and then put it back together a different way and then put it back to the third way and then finally worked we're like good now we need three more games with the same mechanisms and and you can guess why it took us yeah, the yeah. better part of five years to get this game done but yes episode one and two are now done uh, we are building episode three while we're preparing for the Kickstarter campaign yeah. so one and two will launch on July the 7th and you know Dino Minis beautiful resources you know every, I, I, I don't yeah, even want to promise things because I don't want, don't even, don't even want to promise anything because it's going to be better than anything I can imagine right now. Yeah, I mean, as soon as you say Mind Clash, I think everybody expects that kind yes. of quality, don't they? Automatically, every one of their games that have come out have been absolutely spectacular in the quality that they've provided, yeah. and their theme and their mechanisms. I mean, there's, there's some real classics in their stable already, yeah. and this already sounds really exciting. <laughs> so, the Chronicles of uh, Castaway Chron- Chronicles really does yes. lead you into an exploration game doesn't it which is episodic and by the sound of it, it as you say you can play them separately or they they, they, they go into a campaign it, I, i'm struggling to think of it um, from what you're describing a similar sort of um uh, trajectory for a game in terms no, of how I, it's, I can't think of another the, the, the only reason we're not calling it the first com- combinable game series because technically uh, the North Sea Saga and the Century okay. series did something very very like 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 they they, they did combinable games but that's different than having separate, a, yeah 
yes, but we have a narrative story. It's literally episode one, episode like like you're watching a movie trilogy or something, combined with their familiar games, but yet they're different. Whereas both Donald Saga and the Century are different games that happen to fit together in puzzly ways. Mm. So so we're not claiming we're the absolute first because elements of it have been done before. But I am fairly certain that the way we put it together has exactly. never been attempted before so well witness here's my, us here's my response to you david i've got some money here now <laughs> if you can just reach through the screen and take it from me that'd be fa- no, stop. it's yours mate well done deal 25 pounds that's worth at least 10 euros these days um, I'll, 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 I'll give him shipping credits for it uh, when he comes for the free pickup here <laughs> get you <laughs> but i do definitely think uh, just picking up what martin said it's you know like a uh, very different company making very different games but it used to be like days of wonder when they had a game coming out it was like an event i feel like mind clash are building that kind of yeah. reputation that it's like ah, oh, there is a new because they don't put out loads of new games and not constantly just you know, banging stuff out. They yeah. support the games that they I have very well. I do already know what 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 the fifth Mind Clash game will be, but okay. but Martin will have to get out a lot more money for me to say. <laughs> Sorry, he's got it there. God, Just, you know. Anyone got any more money? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask you. Obviously, you know, you're working on a lot of projects and and designing, and you might have had to do it a bit with um, perseverance. But in terms of you know how this whole thing has affected your design process, because you often work with other people. I don't know if is perseverance. Have you been working with someone else on that? Or is this just well perseverance is very much a team effort because because as i said thomas and wolf uh, thomas van der Ginste and wolf pank they came up with the central die mechanism they showed it to me in a prototype i was like okay i'll take that thank you and 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 we built a, a medium light worker placement game out of it that we took to mind clash uh, and uh, the victor peter and richard Arman are both world-class designers on their own right uh, the trickarian and cerebri are both attest to that and and victor and i have been working together since the first day of anachrony so uh, that's probably the most well-oiled working relationship i have with anyone on the planet so since then it's pretty much been richard developing the world and giving us requirements and victor and i picking up things smashing them together no it doesn't work smash let's smash this <laughs> thing and then and then uh, I think we'll have a sixth name on the box, uh, Anthony Hardigo also, because he was one of my playtest slash developers and, and he contributed a lot to how the attack and defense. So, so it's very much a team effort. At this point, we don't even know who designed what. So <laughs> it's just going to be six names on the box, uh, five or six names. On, I don't know the exact agreement, okay. but I'm sure I'll be there somewhere, I hope. Are you going to gonna fight for yourself to go first? Um. <laughs> It's, it's honestly been a team effort, so so I don't mind whether it's alphabetical or maybe or... some kind of circle. So it's you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. or we just take a take a word of every one of our names yeah, and yeah. call ourselves a vortex, a vortex of names. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but yes, no, but very much looking forward to that. That sounds sounds awesome, and I think <laughs> you've probably touched most Mind Clash games at this point in some way or another as well. Have you? I think. Yes, uh, Tricarion came out before I joined the, the company, but. I gave them the push to make the expansion and I designed one of the two expansions uh, and held a little bit with the other plus solo mode. Uh, Cerebria, I only did the solo mode because it was like, while I was reworking Perseverance for the third time out of the, I don't know how many reworks, Victor and Richard were working on Cerebria. So Perseverance has been under construction longer than Cerebria has. Wow. So, uh, yes, and of course, Anachrony started from me and then came back to me with the new expansions. Yeah. But that's also very much a, like Victor being both the boss and the lead designer of Mind Clash. It's, it's, it's very much a team effort. It's not like, hi, here is my game, do whatever. It's, it's, he says it would be better like this. I say I want to really highlight that he, and back and forth, back and forth. So it's like we develop each other's ideas and... Yeah. Yeah. And if the other one has a good idea, we run with that. If the other one has a bad idea, we tell him that. So, That's cool. I've got to say that Anachrony is probably one of my favourite games. I mean, uh, it's, have you it, seen uh, the new expansion? I haven't as yet. I know it's out. And yes. I haven't, no, it's yeah. not yet out. It's it's shipping it, early early autumn. The the fractures of time. The fractures of time. Is it pre-order or something? Is it? Uh, well, the Kickstarter late pledges have long finished, but the retail version might be on pre-order. I don't. This is not my table. <laughs> what I can tell you is that a few years ago, when people asked me, "Hey, do you like Tricarion or Anachrony more?" I always said that obviously I like Tricarion a lot more, 
And with the new Anachrony expansion, when I went back, it, it was finished. Okay, let's demo it. Let's play it properly. The new Anachrony expansion blew my own mind. It's, it was a team effort. Yes, I, I said, hey, can we... I went to them saying, I came up with a mechanism. It's definitely broken. Can we make it work? <laughs> Best sales pitch ever. And, 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 and the team made it work. And it's, ama- like it's, it's the blinking mechanism. You can reuse your workers in a strangely limited, strangely push your luck to buy new actions kind of way, which is something that I honestly can't name another worker placement game that does it. I've been saying that I want to design a new worker placement just so that I can reuse the blinking mechanism, but with an icon, it's so integrated into the theme that I don't know how else I could explain yeah. workers jumping around the board like... Oh, and, he's, a fabulous, he's a fabulous guy. Absolutely yeah, a masterclass. Yeah. So, so if you think you like the base game, then check out Factors of Time because it... You're not listening to me. I love it. I don't think I like it. I love it. <laughs> yes, and <laughs> I'm telling you that Factors will make it yet. many times better. Um, but if you want to give me more money, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to circle back quickly, because um, I asked something and then we got sidetracked, um, was more about the design process and how this whole side, kind of side, sidetracked is my middle yeah. name. <laughs> um, uh, just how this whole kind of process has, uh, this whole situation that we're in, sorry, has affected the design process because you do work with a lot of people a lot of time. So you just oh, you mean how the, how, how did Corona mess things up? Yeah, yeah, like you just having to try honestly. And- Honestly, because Mindclash has the office in Budapest and they all go into the office and work. So for me, it was always a struggle to keep up with. While the project was on my end, I could churn it, churn it, churn it, send it, get Victor's feedback, tweak some things, drop it over. And then I would get a few emails and maybe play it once or twice. And then a month later, relearn my own game. But because now Corona means that they can't meet up in the office the entire development moved online, which means I am now in every day, oh, not every, but like in, in two week, two meetings a week with them and I play and, and I'm up to date with all the rules and, and I know every change and I edit all the rule books. So, so it actually made me more in okay. tune with, like for the last half year since lockdown and, and moving and whatnot, I've been more involved with Perseverance than the year before, okay. so it's 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 been great for me. It it, it pushed That's Mindclash cool. fully online, so yeah. I love it. And then um, the lovely Leanne in the comments is asking um, for someone she's not played any Mindclash games before. Um, she's what? she's looking. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> she's looking to get in. You know where, where should where should she start? And um, she's uh, asking specifically about solo. Yeah. An acrony based game is the simplest of the bunch, yeah. by far. Some would say trigger based game is simplest, but there is more to more to the depth there that is not apparent. So I think an acrony based game is definitely the simplest mind clash game we've made. Uh, the new essential edition does not physically contain a solo mode, but the solo mode is available both print to play and uh, digital for free. So if you want to play solo. Feel free to get the essential edition. It's cheaper than it's ever been before, assuming it's not sold out again, uh, which, you know, I wouldn't mind. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, and then after that, the, the Trickarian solo mode and the Cerebra solo mode are both very heavy because they're both a very interactive, very deep game, Richard and Victor. So, so I wanted to do a solo mode that makes does justice for it. Perseverance will be, again, very good because ep- because the solo was designed for episode one, which is the simplest of the bunch. So when we went like, all right, how is episode two more complicated than episode one? And what do we need to mess with the solo to keep adapting it? And and episode one solo is now pretty much done and episode two solo is being playtested on our internal playtest group roughly these times. So, you know we're always in it for no compromise good quality experience for everyone yeah yeah i think i think cerebria is probably the most complex one cerebria is the highest highest level to jump like cerebria has more rules than tricarian but uh, once you understood all those rules cerebria is not hard to what to do okay whereas tricarian i can teach you all the rules and then you start playing and then your soul score 60 points over seven rounds and go so what's the game about and then meanwhile others will sit there and score 220 points and go so are you going to take any actions today so um. so, so, so tricarian is a depth experience while cerebria is a jump the gate once and then it's easy like i can play a two-player cerebria in like 45 minutes wow. or an hour max so 
it's not that a beast. The beast is the rules. It's learning the nine actions and the interaction Absolutely, of yeah. everything with everything. But I always say that I think it's worth it. Don't ask me about the solo mode because I don't play my own solo modes or <laughs> anybody else is too much. I'm surprised that. you got time. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, 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 I first first to bribe, then hire, then enslave people to <laughs> to play my solo mode so that I don't have to. <laughs> Oh, that's very good. First they get a free game, then they get a free trip to Essen, and then suddenly I own all their kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best way. Um, and uh, for anyone that is wanting to get into Cerebria, Mindclash have very generously offered 20% off all Cerebria items. Uh, the code's on the screen, home together 20 yeah. uh, over on mindclashgames.com. Well worth it. Well um, worth the effort. And uh, we were saying just before, I didn't realise until I put it on the screen that the Mind Clash Games logo has MCG in it. So for anyone else that had missed that... Welcome to 2016. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but it's been a pleasure, David, as always. Um, like yeah, I said, you're thanks, around David. all weekend doing various things, and I'm sure if anyone wants to know any more Mind Clash related me, news, just ask me. in the group. Yeah. yeah. Board Game Geek me. I'm, I'm, I'm always there. I'm, I'm obsessively answering all the questions you guys and girls <laughs> have. <laughs> and plus I'll be back tomorrow wearing a different t-shirt <laughs> good man yourself <laughs> awesome thanks everyone we'll see you later okay. for the quiz bye bye enjoy your day bye